Okay, so today is the final day. Um, it's probably like 7 in the morning right now. Today is the final day. And so what I'm going to do this morning is... Hi, Jess Carver, Rob. Just message me. I'm going to carve this. So I'm going to carve all this. Get it. I don't have to carve this full log because you can see on the back there's a power line. So that's good. Carve this. Just keep it going, the swoosh lines. And over in this corner, I'm going to uh, not carve that eagle. I'm going to carve a bunch of little ghost skulls and stuff with my uh, Dremel. And then i got to carve the address signs in here. With these trees. We did the projector and got those letters on there. And i got to carve this wood spirit on this wood. So that's that. So I haven't been filming much carving here because, well, I can't really show what I'm up to as because I'm working hard trying to get it done, right? So anyways, don't pay attention to those pot plants. Those are just going home with me. And you're allowed to have four, four, four pot plants in Canada, British Columbia, and it's legal. So, okay? Okay. Nothing like some awesome thick slice bacon first thing in the morning. Okay. Okay, this cedar, cedar is a lot better to carve than that terrible Douglas fir. But it's so soft. Well, there's no, there's no eyes in, in the wood spirits. I got the hiccups. Okay, bye. Should I show them Bob's little corner? Okay. Can they see it? Yeah, this is Bob's little secret corner here. I still got to finish the skull, the teeth on the skull. Bob's corner. See, well, that's you guys that all my subscribers know I do that kind of stuff on uh, cottonwood bark. Actually, let me see if I can get the flash going here. Get brighter. The flash on, Bob? Yeah. Flash on. Let's see here. It's kind of, the sun's kind of behind it. So I'll curve in some teeth here with the Dremel 125 bit burnum. So wood spirit down here, skull, wood spirit, skull, ghost skull, ghost skull, wood spirit. Yep. Okay, so I'm just uh, taking a little rest here. I got most of the stuff loaded in my car. So that pole's done. This pole's done. The rising sun's done. That wood spirit up here is done. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll show it to you after. Now I got to. Uh, I got the uh, projector going on for the letters for the address. I won't tell you what street he's on. But now I got to. Um, I brought my friggin' thing thing to uh, cut those letters out. My uh, router. Very focused, this is no second chances on this one. Doing the street address numbers looks awesome. See, look, Bob's so lazy. He's got to walk around in his eye. He doesn't walk around his property. He uses, he uses a lawnmower. Look, he even bought his wife one for uh, her birthday. She's got to take the cutter off, and that's her little, that's her trach for around here. Yeah, they should get married on the lawnmowers. That's what they should do. Get remarried, you know, how people do it. Anyways, so I got the letters carved in. Bob filmed a bit. Now we need to get, they're not perfect. Need to get some paint. Paint inside here, black. Then sand it. 
And uh, hey, Bob's your uncle. Bob's weed eating. But there now the skull has teeth. I don't even know if you can see it. Whatever. Whatever. Got to go to the hardware store. Get some uh, black paint to paint those letters. And some spar urethane. Then I got CTOL. That's CTOL can holding that thing up. So I could router it. And we're going to CTOL these too. The posts. So. Here's wood, Bob's wood hoarding pile. That's cotton wood. Which is garbage for outdoor stuff. Some real old cedar in here. Me and Bob got pulled that those cedar logs there out of the uh, forest, I guess you'd call it. And uh, I'm gonna carve it one day. So yeah, one, two, three, four logs. Um. Anyways, yeah, he's got a nice property. There he is, weed eating. Bob's getting a workout today. Look at Bob weed eating, everybody. <laughs> so this is the side of his house, obviously. Bob built that rock wall back there. Look at him work it. <laughs> he's, got his, he's got a strap for his weed eater. Good job, Bob. So then you come around back and that's where the gazebo is, right there. I'm gonna walk up to, he's got a little uh, man-made lake in his backyard up here. Yeah, him and his wife go skinny, skinny dipping in uh, yeah, so here's some real old first growth cedar logs. Him and his wife go skinny dipping in this uh, man-made lake. Every time there's a full moon. But yeah, so he sold his house in the mainland, moved over to Vancouver Island. And these just toys were kids toys that he had under his deck. So he set this all up as a memorial for the kids in um, Ukraine, the old old school metal Tonka trucks. This is kind of creepy. So, but it's, this is actually, this is Bob's entertainment park. Everybody, see? He goes for, when they're naked, after they go skinny dipping in their pond, um, they go for a ride. Then they go for a sleigh. When there's snow on the ground, they put the sleigh here and they go downhill into the ice then they go ice skating be romantic and uh yeah here's his here's his homemade pond there's frogs and lots of tadpoles in here right now and you guys look over there it's just a pumpkin it's just a pumpkin sitting on a log that's all but here's his pond I mean his lake. Yeah, there's Bob's lake everybody, so there you gotta see it. There's some more fish and floats I get, I get Bob when I, uh, he told me uh, yesterday he doesn't want any more fishing floats when I find the beach combing. So, yeah, look what he does with them. They're just lying around doing nothing. Fuck Bob. Holy shit, Bob left his quad in that garage. He's got his other quad up there, but this is his fast quad. I'm gonna take it for a rip. Yeah, I'm gonna hot wire it. <laughs> enough. 
Anyways, carry on. Okay, I personally love this color. It looks like bone, but it's never gonna stay this. It's gonna go gray after time. So Bob doesn't want it to go gray. So I got the sea tall. Here's the can I got. This is the natural color, Seco Prolux. That's the sea tall right there. Natural color. I'm gonna sea tall it. And then I'm going to do what I do with the Dremel. Then I'm going to flap sand it to get different colors out of it, right? Yeah, pretty neat right there. Okay, okay. I finished this one too. So, now what I'm going to do, pull out my super sander. This is just belt sander stuff that I got at the uh, estate cell. Sandpaper on a ready rod with a couple a nut a double nut here and a lock nut in the front part here so that's how you make these ready rod lock it up so it doesn't spin out on you get a lock nut for the top now I'm gonna sand it and blow it off so there you go yeah there you can see uh, also I by the way I spilt the whole <laughs> thing of the uh, the fucking sea toll so Bob's deducting uh, five dollars off my bill. There goes the tip. Yeah, there goes the five dollar tip, the two fifty dollar tip. But so this one's Douglas fir, and this one's cedar. And you can see how lighter this one is. That guy's like a Japanese. He's in charge. Yeah, oh yeah. He's just he doesn't take shit. I don't know how well you guys can see. the difference in the colors, eh? The wood. Oh, yeah. That one's more Perfectly, like. Perfectly, that's the same stain. Or... Yeah, that one's more red. This one's more white. Because I left lots of the water wood on the inside, on the outside. Oh, uh, why? The, like the, with the whiter wood, I left lots of it on. Oh. So I didn't carve into the heartwood. Right. So, anyways. Okay. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's pretty dark. Okay, but. Okay, now I gotta paint it. I can't get over the difference in the color. It's good though because it, it's like two different poles. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. very, very. This is red cedar. That's yeah. Shitty fur. Majority about to make this awesome piece more awesomer. Yeah. Here we got the nicest street address sign in the neighborhood. It looks pretty awesome now. I wait to see what he's gonna do. Ooh. Is that just spot against the still end? Whatever. <laughs> well, look at this how look at that, eh? Look at the detail there. Ooh. Isn't that incredible? This is my favorite part. Bob, should I give up the grand finale because we're pretty well done? Might as well. Okay, yeah. hold on. What's it called? No, don't say what it's called yet. Okay. This is the big reveal. This is the secret that we did yesterday. Actually, Bob carved it. Let's give you a quick show you guys that I did. So. Like, uh, what, two days and five hours, Bob? Yeah. And talking about, like, we're talking about no stop, really. Two whole, whole days, non-stop. Two.
two full days non-stop. I know, I sat here and watched them the whole time. Say again? I sat here and watched you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cool, that top one's my favorite one, man. So it just goes to show you guys too, this is a wood spirit I carved when I was just learning stuff about chainsaws. I'm still learning, but you know, so I did this part, but it didn't have hair, but now look at it with the hair. And I re-burnt it and uh, re-sanded it. And all the rocks are going up the back here too. Because Bob's going to have this, he's going to have a barbecue here one day. It's the counter thing. Yeah, it's counter thing. So, let's do the big reveal. Okay, Bob. The big reveal, the special the special bonus carving. Skullalope. It's a skullalope. Coming to you straight from Mexico. Yeah, skullalope. It's a skullalope. And what does it say below, Bob? I think that's Scandinavian, isn't it? It's Fro. That's the guy's name, Fro. Oh, Fro. Oh, cool. There it is, the skullalope. Skullalope. That's <laughs> we're too tired to laugh. <laughs> but uh, here's the big picture for you guys. You can see it. So a lot of work, a lot of surface 2D carving. But that sign, that address sign, is uh, oh, look at that. It's good with the colors in there. Thanks for that piece, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. If he watches this, he doesn't our videos there it is everybody the skull hope oh, will be all good and uh that's gonna be it for vancouver Island. i think that's it yeah yeah okay bob see y'all later bob says bye and hope everybody's good yeah we'll be back here again in the summertime maybe to do uh something say hi anyways okay that's it bye bye car infusion or you know skull oh. <laughs> straight from mexico that might, we might have started a new thing. He wants me to show that one above the stove. Yeah. I'll show, take you guys in the house in a second. I'll show you I did a car. How, how many years ago did I do that, Bob? Three years ago. Three, it's a Dremel Fordham carving. There's the big picture. Yeah, I'm going to take him inside the house, show him that now. I don't know how well you guys are going to see this, but this is a cedar box. What they did, the builders, because this is a fairly new house, they there's the heater for the here's the heater for the oven and the exhaust pipe they just left the exhaust pipe so they asked me to carve that for them so it's like a moon or a sun with an eagle in it and then each side has a wood spirit on it there's see you guys can see my wood spirits how much they've progressed and you got a dogwood flower on the other side i know that light's kind of not hard to see but there's one of my beginning wood spirits too See if I can block out that light. Can you turn that light off so you want? There you go. Anyways, that's that. Look, there's carbon fusion lines on there behind this the sun or moon. That's all. Okay, Sandy. Thanks for everything. We're done filming. Okay, cool. Say bye to everybody. Oh, you didn't know? No, no, we're just oh, I'm done done YouTubing. Okay, Sandy, Sandy says bye. Bye. Bye.